I know most of my diggers right now probably want to program an attachment out of Anthrax and email it to Dig Support. It's all gravy. I feel your pain. Dig wants you to view more pages in order to execute a dig so they could boost their impression count and get more money from their advertisers. It's partially working. Pages viewed per user are up 16%, but their Alexa traffic rank is down 125. You're not caring for your user by banning your user. Why don't you start to delve into the reasons as to why people use scripts, time constraints. People work full-time jobs, 8-hour, 10-hour, 12, 16-hour shifts and still find the time to scour their RSS feeds and submit great content to dig and make the front page the bomb and you repay them by banning them. Now, they're going to make your competitors huge. Mix.com's Alexa traffic rank is up by 2300 up by 2300 Kevin, Jay, you're breaking the number one rule of Community Evangelism 101. Your user, above all things corporate, your user, above all things, period, comes first. It's just like in sales. My client is the person to whom I ultimately answer. My investors, my advertisers are not going to care about me if I cannot retain and grow my client base, or in your case, your user base. Why don't you make the friend submission page, like the upcoming queue, lining up the dig badges and allowing people to dig their friend submissions on one page. Know your market. You're penalizing people for digging each other's stuff so they have a, the best chance of success when promoting their favorite mainstream sites to the front page or content they post on their own sites to the front page. And then the people who promote their own stuff you label them self-promoters and marketers. Why do you discriminate against marketers anyway? They are the ones educating people and telling them how to build their accounts, build out their profiles, and leverage Dig as a networking and marketing tool. All right, They're growing your user base. I got involved with Dig because the marketing community instructed me on how to build out my account. I wanted to leverage it for its user base. I wanted 80,000 visitors going to my site in one day, all right? And you have to face it. Other than marketers and journalists into new media, nobody's ever heard of you. I could approach 10,000 people on a subway and ask them if they ever heard of dig.com. 9,999 of them will tell me no. This is your niche. Embrace the marketing community. You're going to have to decide. Are you going to be Alta Vista or are you going to be Google? Google embraces their marketers. They gave them Matt Cuts, XML sitemaps, webmaster guidelines, webmaster tools. All the guidelines instruct you exactly how to design your site in order to make it more search engine friendly. Why don't you tell people how to format their stories into top 10 lists that resonate with the dig community? All right, tell them how to put together great feature articles, breaking news that'll resonate with the dick community and give them the most chance of success. That's how you grow your user base. Tell them how to design their sites so it won't get auto-buried. All right? You will grow your user base if you make it easy for people to meet their objectives that they have set when they log on to dig.com. Not by banning them. You gave us the dig open API, but then you go and ban the dig boss for creating an API tool that tells you which of the stories you've submitted your friends are digging. All right, you're violating his net neutrality. You're looking very web negative 1.5-ish right now. Why are linking sedan ads poking my eye out like spam pop-ups begging me to sign up for free newsletters? And as a side note to you marketers, Dig is not the only platform out there for you to market your stuff to. In comparison to all the channels you could leverage to make your site a success on the web, Dig is merely a pixel. The holy grail does not exist on the front page. I know a number of interactive agencies and people representing their clients taking them viral without the need of using Dig, without even wanting to know about Dig because you probably need an MIT PhD to make a story go popular the first time around. So a regular average working guy is going to burn a few working days in order to make his bones. So you may even want to consider paying your active users rather than banning them. 
Because honestly, if you're still pitching another round of funding, you are not rolling like Larry and Sergey yet. I do not see any 767s in your immediate future. However, doesn't mean I don't believe in you. My profile doesn't boast over 80,000 digs and 151 front page stories without demonstrating some type of support for your platform. I'm feeling it, but you have to feel us. Stop over protecting the algo. You're squeezing the ice too tight and it's going to slip out.